Hey guys, it's your girl Peggy here. Today we're gonna eat dim sum. Yeah, <laughs> dim sum is a Chinese style cuisine prepared in small bite-sized portions of food served in the steamer basket or on small plates just like this. It's kind of like snacks. Yeah, and today we're gonna eat Hong Kong style dim sum. Okay, before we get into this, if this is the first time we've met, welcome to my channel. I do eating shows like this every week, so if you enjoy eating shows, please consider subscribing. And when you do, tap on the bell icon next to it to get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I ordered all this food from... Where's my paper? Kowloon Hong Kong Tim Sum restaurant in Singapore. Yeah, I'll put more details of this restaurant down in the description box below. Okay, I've ordered like 12 of the dishes. That's quite a lot. Um, okay, let's start with the steam one. We have here the pork and shrimp dumplings, shrimp dumplings, coriander dumplings, steamed crystal buns, salted egg buns. Yeah, I think this one is like their most popular thing on their menu right now, so I'm pretty excited to try this one. Okay, let's move on to the fried stuff. This one is the deep fried prawn dumplings. Crispy spring rolls, mango shrimp rolls, fried dumplings, pan fried turnip cake, and some pork barbecue puffs. And for desserts, we have here some freshly baked egg tarts. Okay, um, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for your pledges. I appreciate you feeding me. <laughs> Let's start eating. I'm so hungry. Okay, where should I start? Um, I'm going to start with this one. Okay, this one is the shumai, um, pork and shrimp dumplings. <sighs> okay, I feel so much better now. I was so hungry. <laughs> This is good. This is pretty good. It's not too salty like some other ones that I've tried before. It's just right. And the meat is pretty soft. Okay, I know I say this in all of my videos, but it's been a while since I had dim sum. <laughs> All right, what's next? Let's go for this one. This one is shrimp dumpling. Yeah, it's pretty good. The stream is pretty fresh. Mm. The skin is a little um, chewy, dumpling skin. Okay, this one is a turnip cake. I think it's got turnip, radish, uh, mixed in flour, and then fried. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, it's really soft and it tastes a bit like, you know, like a paste. It's like a cake, but a savory type of cake. Okay, this one is fried dumplings. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna eat this with some seriously good mayonnaise. <laughs> seriously good. Okay, this one tastes just like the shrimp dumplings, but it's fried. This mayonnaise is seriously good. Okay, let's go for this one. Okay, this one is a mango shrimp paste roll. Hmm. This is good. The mango adds some sweetness to it. Oh yeah guys, you know, in my previous video, 
the one where I ate that chocolate cake yeah and then I was saying that it's so good it's like sex in your mouth you know what I'm talking about right yeah anyway if you don't know what I'm talking about you can go watch my previous video yeah so in that video I was saying that I should just keep my mouth shut or my video might get demonetized <laughs> well guess what it got demonetized <laughs> Okay, but the good news is that I've requested for it to be reviewed and it has now been approved. So it's now back up to being monetized again. So all is good. It's just that um, the time it took for them to review and approve it, it's like 10 to 12 hours. During that time, all the views um, are not monetized. So that sucks. <laughs> yeah, so at least now I know what I can or cannot get away with. If I say certain things, my video might get flagged. <laughs> okay, um, it's not people flagging my videos. It's YouTube's, um, the automated system that does it. Um, so every video that gets uploaded for monetization, it will go through some kind of a system like a AI, you know, where it will detect certain words or phrases that you say in your video. And your video might not be approved for monetization if it detects that your content is not advertiser friendly. Yeah, so I gotta be careful what I say now. But you know what, in my previous videos, I say that word so many times and nothing happened. Maybe I said it too many times in my previous video. You know, maybe it's like Beetlejuice, you know, if you say it three times, it gets triggered. <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna be a nice, good and innocent girl. I still like big balls though. <laughs> Wait, you can still say balls, right? <laughs> well, we'll find out. Okay, this one is the salted egg bun. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, look at that. It's so watery inside. I think some salted egg uh, juice. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Mm. Okay, it's salted egg custard. Yeah. It's sweet, a little sweet, and it's savory from the salted egg. Hmm. This is good. I can see why this is their most popular thing. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. Mm. I'm quite impressed with this. I was expecting it to be like really sweet, but it's all right. Okay, let's go for some fried dumplings. This is like the Japanese gyoza. Mm. I think I'm supposed to dip this in vinegar, but what the hell? This is some seriously good mayonnaise. Mm. 
Okay, let's go for some spring rolls. I think it's also known as egg rolls. It's called spring rolls here. Okay, what's this? Um, coriander dumplings, I think. The feeling is very similar to the fried dumplings. It's just that the skin is different. It's thinner. Try this one. Okay, this one is crystal steamed dumplings. Okay, I think it's called crystal because of the skin is kind of like semi-translucent. Yeah, the filling is vegetables, radish, and carrots. Very similar to the spring rolls. This is giving me such oral pleasure. <laughs> Damn. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells now. <laughs> okay, let's finish this one.
Yeah, that's good for this one. This one is the barbecue barbecue pork puff. This one is sweet. The filling is sweet. It's kind of like um, like your chicken pie. You know those puff pastries? Puff pastries? Yeah, it's similar, but with barbecue pork in it. Yeah, I don't have any problems finishing today's meal. But I'm starting to feel full though. Too big.
Okay, let's finish the last bun. Oh, oh. You know, the last time I ate buns in my video was that that Amy ate bun. You guys remember that video? <laughs> the one where I was comparing my buns to Amy Yip's buns. <laughs> that was a fun video. Maybe I should eat Amy Yip buns again. Okay, salted egg custard bun. That thing just burst in your mouth. Okay. Dessert. Egg tarts. The crust is um, flaky, <clears throat> flaky, and then the filling is really soft and creamy. Last one. Okay, managed to finish everything that I've set out to eat. There are actually more of those. I just picked some out, picked the portions that I want, and then I kept the rest. So I'll be eating more dim sum tomorrow for breakfast and lunch. Okay, overall, I think the quality of the food is pretty good. I would order from this store again, that's for sure. It's pretty affordable too, you know, it's not too expensive. Yeah, also because um, I've not eaten dim sum for a long time, so it just tastes really good. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for joining me in today's dim sum video. This was a really enjoyable meal. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> today's meal is just right, so I'm really satisfied and I'm really happy with today's meal. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it and subscribe to my channel for more eating videos. I will see you all on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. Until then, take care and I love you. 
Bye.